warning indicators for behavior trigger off in-school and out-of-school suspension totals. Expansion data also includes such information as the number of behavioral incidents. An additional data point schools may elect to include are early warning system behavior screenings. The most recent two screenings provide expansion data, and in the case of elementary schools only, also serve as triggers for early warning indicators. It is recommended to do at least two per year, one after the first couple of weeks of school and another a little over halfway through the year. In addition to the early warning indicator data, such as number of days ISS and OSS total, or expansion data, like the number of incidents, I can also have additional data by completing a behavior screening. Click on Create New Class Screening. Select your date, save and continue. And now edit your screening. On the next page, your class roster appears. When considering yes, it should be a student that has exhibited a pattern of problem behavior, not just a student who had one bad day. By default, the students are marked as no. Once you've identified the students that have exhibited a pattern of behavior, select yes and edit their information additionally. You can identify no more than five total of the most significant behaviors. You have a set of categories from which you can choose. Self-concept may identify students who kind of fall under the radar that don't result in maybe referrals to the office. You also identify the intensity level and the frequency level. For example, intense and say maybe one to two times daily. Once you're done with one student, save and continue and it takes you to the next student. Let's say Richard Test has some issues with noncompliance. Specifically, he has issues with listening to or hearing instructions. Identify the intensity and frequency. Consider other behaviors. Excessive talking. Has issues maybe sitting still. Intensity level and the frequency. Save and continue. If you need to go back you can always click edit and revise your answers. But if you're done, screening for class complete. Now I can view, I can delete, or I can create a new screening. If I want to view what I just did, go back in. Nice little summary here. I can go back. I could return to MTSS Explorer this way, or keep going back. I'll go back now. Once the screening has been completed and data has been uploaded, if a student was identified as yes, one out of the two screenings, the student shows as yellow either on the early warning indicator for elementary schools or on the screening expansion detail for all schools. If two yeses were recorded total for the last two screenings, the indicator is red.